Hello everybody and welcome to another third party review. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Heat Toys, we're taking a look at the fourth offering from Devil Saviour, albeit it is announced as the DS03. It was originally meant to be the third offering, but it was taken back to the drawing board and amended and tweaked. And hence we now have him coming out as the kind of fourth piece in this series, aptly named Compressor. Now, Compressor is their version of Overload from the Revenge of the Fallen Constructicons. Uh, I believe he is based on a modified Cat 776 bumper truck with trailer or the end dump, I think I can also be called. But quick look around the box. Uh, I've got Compressor there in his vehicle mode. We've got the pyramids on the back there. And spinning that around, we've got him in his robot mode. Got him in the combined form and we've got him in this beautiful vehicle mode. And of course he does fill the lower torso and crotch sections of our Devastator. Uh, the next two pieces for this are being released together with the looks of things. It's going to be our entire arm section. We're gonna be having these two packaged as one. So then we're just left with this arm and this leg. So I'm really excited to get this guy completed. And here we have him out of the box and what a beautiful piece of kit. Now obviously we do have this additional detailing on top. Uh, the idea would be that this would all be kind of junk and rubbish in here. And I believe this is an end scoop. So the tractor section would drive along, then this would tilt back and it would all kind of pour out of the back here. But color wise, this is absolutely gorgeous. And there's a couple of plugs that you get that can plug in. These cover the screws. I haven't pushed those in there as well as I'd originally thought, but they do cover off the screws. And then we get the guard railing piece. Now this does come with a warning. Uh, basically in the instructions, we are required to move this small piece here. This is the exhaust. It basically just says, when you move this, don't grab it by the tip here. Just grab it by the part that's actually on that hinge and slide that piece along. Just so we don't apply additional stress and force. Uh, I don't know, is it meant to come all the way? Or is it meant to get caught on that edge? I think it's meant to come all the way. So I might need just to work that a little bit. But like I said, I don't want to be applying too much force on there. But I can't help but feel that that's meant to be upright, isn't it? But look at the levels of detailing on this. This thing is a work of art. No Caterpillar logo or any branding on this. But... It does look sensational. Let's see how it compares to the Studio Series version. There we have them together. Now, obviously it's gonna be leaps and bounds better. It's gonna look fantastic in comparison, but what we need to bear in mind is the price point. You are paying for a high-end kind of masterpiece version of this, basically. I mean, there is no real comparison between the two. I mean, this is even cheaper because this is the uh, KO kind of Black Mamba version of the mold as well, which feels exactly the same as the Hasbro, but it's even cheaper. But you really can't compare the two. That being said, this, this really does look like the vehicle. Uh, now I would compare this to the rest of my Devil Saviour vehicles, but if you've been following these reviews, you'll know that my Devil Saviour are staying in their combined mode because some of the transformations are just absolutely monstrous. They take a lot of time and a lot of effort. And uh, being a full-time student, as well as doing these reviews, as well as being a full-time dad, I really don't have time to keep chopping and changing between modes hence the reason with like the black mamba version i buy two 
of each, sometimes even three when they're really cheap, just to stop me having to switch between modes, just to gain a little bit of extra time to spend doing something else that I enjoy. But if we grab an MPM Prime, for example, probably a little bit too big. Uh, the MPM series, aren't they? So I think this is definitely more going to scale with the likes of the Studio Series figures. Probably a lot better so than what the actual Studio Series ones do. I think it's going to look a lot more monstrous. I mean, some of the Studio Series figures are fantastic. And I think just having something like this in with those kind of Legends to Deluxe, that sort of scale, I think it's going to look fabulous. Just wanted to get up close and personal with all of that detailing along the top there. We've got the door panel, we've got a hinge on the roof canopy. It's even the dirt in the treads. Underside is remarkably clean as well. Really, genuinely very impressed with this. Right now, to get him transformed up into his bot mode, there's a couple of hinges you want to flip. Uh, this hinge, he says, this is always my trickiest one to get. There we go, that one there. And then there's a latch on the underside. Flip that one. That allows these to separate. They're going to split and come apart. Oh, amazing ratchets on these and these are going to turn as well so again with this side bring that out like that and then just turn this so it's like so these rotate and then these are going to split this panel here remember grabbing the base of it it's going to slide along right, these end panels untab and then these Canopy pieces should come down. So again, on this side here is considerably stiffer, but it does just pop up. Once you get it up, there we go. That can come down and these should, in theory, go all the way down to the underside. You can then bring this panel down. And again, on this side, being mindful of this smokestack, bring this panel down. These pieces here, I can unhinge. And the idea is to bring this all the way up. And then I believe this should tab in to the end. Same with this side, untab this panel here. Bring that all the way up. Bring this across and that should line up with this end panel piece on both sides. We now need to flip these pieces up first. And first, and then that allows this piece here to then fold down and fold down like so. Just tabbing in. This then needs to come all the way back like this. And that's going to come down out of the way and then using these thigh ratchets this is going to rotate 180 degrees oh, round again on this side oh my gosh some of the strongest ratchets i've seen on a figure like this oh there we go you then bring these joints down like so and then slide that leg joint inwards. So again, bring this one down and then on this hinge here, that's just going to slide inwards. This piece here is a really tough tab. Uh, the idea is to now bring, it says to do it in a J motion. Uh, so we go kind of down and work the joint. So basically you want to bridge this all the way up and over so that this piece is now at the front and that's going to push and secure that into place and um, that's pretty much that part of the legs done for now come up to this piece of the torso that's going to untab 
and bringing this piece down, we flip over and go along to the top, open up these back leg pieces, they untab from this center piece. And then this panel here is also tabbed in. I just bring that piece away, come on. The trouble is these joints are really firm, but also the plastic is solid. So it can actually come across as quite sharp. So that's just something you need to bear in mind uh, with those pieces untapped. This piece here should, he says, be able to come up and out of the way like so. Then untap these. Uh, as you can see, it's a sliding tab on those legs. You need to push and slide those apart to separate them. These come out to the side, avoiding that chest panel. They're gonna come out like so. This then comes down and this side then comes down. These razor hands come down to the side. Oh, starting to come together, isn't it? Bring this one all the way down. There we go. Uh, this piece here comes out. Uh, this piece here comes out. Yeah, this is gonna flip like that. And right, then we've got a little bit of work to do <laughs> with these arms. Uh, this section actually comes down from the underside, like so. This here is going to fold inwards on itself, like this. This comes down. This comes up, we have a tab just here. This is gonna flip upwards and this rotates around. It's gonna come down and out of the way, allowing for these to separate and this port here to come down. The wheel is on a rotating hinge. It basically comes down out of its socket and rotates around and tabs in to the new socket, which shifts that wheel across. This then comes up, bends, tabs in, and then you want to just rotate this panel around like so, and then bring those arms to the front and then just rotate this piece as well. So he's now got some really heavy kind of armaments going on there. The head can now flip up. Chest can come in if your ladder's here. They're currently side mounted, you want to just remove those back. And the wheels will come in off this latch and fill in that void on the torso. The crane can then come up and over, and these parts here just untab, push, and click into place. And here we have the very lovely compressor in his robot glory. Adore how this guy looks. I love the beefcake-ness that we've got going on. with These big, huge, chunky, spiky arms. Uh, the legs tidy up pretty well. I think all things considered, maybe I should have lifted that latch up there on the legs. I'm not entirely sure. But all in all, he looks sensational. That's a really nice looking bot mode, I think. You've got lots of posing options. I love all of those arms. We've got those big, huge, chunky razor cutters that we've got on there as well. Really does make those paint apps pop in this bot mode. I think the bot mode was what they revisited and I'm glad they did because the overall look and feel of this here is exceptionally good. Genuinely very impressed. These do seem to be getting better and better as they release them. Uh, to be honest with you, their releases since their Mixed Master have kind of put their Mixed Master to shame 
and this is probably my favourite from them to date. Maybe wrong, their scavenger was amazing. It really was. But there is a but, you know. This guy is freaking tasty. I just realised I haven't flipped this section down. Oh, completely ruined my turntable experience. But yes, that piece flips down as well. I'll show you when we take a closer look. But that just kind of finishes off those shoulder pads. But just look at the way that green pops against that kind of gunmetal grey. If anything, the only real parts that let this down is if you look at those thighs, the big chunky, huge bits of plastic that they used for those thighs, they're not the gunmetal grey. The fronts and backs are, but those sides aren't. And maybe due to the transformation, etc. But if I'm nitpicking, then yeah, that's a thing. There we go. That's better. Now I've adjusted those shoulders. Just look at the head sculpt on that. That is sensational. You can just amend all of these as you see fit. Just want to kind of bring that one down like this. You've got those big, huge, chunky claws. Paint apps are absolutely impeccable. These can rotate. They've got bends on them as well. We've got ratchets at the top here, although these do get hindered by these wheels somewhat if we just there we go see they do kind of rub against those if you move those shoulder pads in but we do have articulation on here we have bends here we have bends on this now we have legs that can come forward backwards out to the side oh, he's going to be a tank in devastator mode and then we have feet that can rotate left and right and we can tilt side to side as well. Doesn't want to really tab tab in. It more locates as opposed to pushing and tabbing. But I can let that slide because the overall look and feel of this is sublime. And here we have him alongside the Studio Series version, which by no means is a bad figure. It's just left in the dusk when it comes to this big meaty version of overload it just leaps and bounds better in my opinion we're going to get him fully combined we want to just bring these legs back to kind of how they were so these untab this pushes down these are going to come back like so uh, this piece here lifts up this flips down this is going to lift up like so no, it's not. No, it's not. This is going to come down. This comes around to the back. Silly Ben. Like this. Bring this panel up. That's going to come all the way up. Rotate. Come around. And that's going to sit at the front and tab in. And this is going to tab in on there. This is going to come round to the back. Compress. Come around. Flip. And tab in like so. Rotate this. Push this back down and tab. And then split these panels like so. So that's a start, isn't it? This is then going to come to the back, uh, these panels here are going to fold in. This is going to bring around like so, and that looks going to latch onto this tab there. It's going to come down, the head is going to flip like so, and that'll just push back, forming the torso. And then the next part is to kind of semi transform it back. So you want to bring most of the parts up, but you want to keep some of it out of the way though this is going to come down and whilst it's in this kind of flat position you want to bring it all the way back and around to the outside of the arm because that's the only way you're ever going to get past that arm section this doesn't get put away either but these can collapse this panel here rotates flat 
allowing this to slide into position. Bring these out and around and out and around. This is going to rotate. Bring these up. What are you doing? You're there. So these are now up to the front and that's going to latch on this tab here. Come on in you go. Which way do you go? Top inwards, I think. Or is it bottom inwards? Bottom inwards, there we go. And then push together there. Who's gonna come in? And we're left with this at the moment. Bring the legs up to the side. And you wanna rotate them. Oh, come on, rotate them around. Ah, like so. This is gonna come up like this. Bring this panel in. And then you wanna bring this piece here. That's gonna come down and down. Bring these panels up to the side. And if you look here, there's two locking mechanisms. There's these parts here, which lock with these, and then these two can come over and lock afterwards. So let's start with these. It's just, come on. Ah, oh, there we go, they're in. Move the wheels out. So these outer panels, move this wheel out to the outer panel, and then just nipping this piece together. These, he says, should line up. Come on. And tab in. You can tell it's going to go in, but it's just... There we go. That final little step, because it is the resistance is exactly spot on. So you're worried. You don't want to push it too hard, but you know that it's going to go in. There's nothing... There we go. That's better. Those are in. That is solid as a rock. <laughs> and then just coming around to these sections here, rotate those around. Bring this hinge all the way up, rotate that. Make sure that these are arched inwards. And then, where are we? We are gonna bend on this hinge here. Bring this down. And that's gonna come down like so. And then these are gonna come up and go around to the sides. So just straighten these off. Right, let's try and get this combined mode formed. It recommends you take Mixmaster off, but I'm gonna try and be uh, a little bit clever here and see if I can do it with him on. Basically, we've got these tabs on here. Those are gonna line up with these tabs on the bottom half of scavenger so you have to excuse me i'll try and get everything on camera come on mix master you're a bit wobbly up the top there aren't you maybe that's why they ask you to take him off it's gonna go in Is it, is it this one here? I think it is, isn't it? I think it's these these front panels like this. And like this. Just come on, slide that one in. Slide that one in. And then we're going to need to lock in there, don't they? There we go, one. And come on. Oh, two. That locks in. These are going to tab in on these platforms here. There we go. These come round and slide in underneath. I believe these are gonna come down to the front. Mixmaster can then pop his head down. 
the back here, we've got these tread panels, which are going to tab and locate, he says. Come on. One. And two. And then these flip like this. And like this. Look at this thing. That is absolutely monstrous. That's insane, isn't it? This thing is going to be a complete and utter beast. If you just come down to the underside of these legs, you see you've got this tab here, and that's going to locate inside that square, and then the leg would go on. So you just need to pull these apart, slide that in, and then lock that back up again. I've got nowhere to put it at the moment, but to give you an idea of how big this thing is, I mean, that is one gigantic monster. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to be insane. What a complete and utter beast this thing's going to be. I uh, love how it's starting to look. Really does come across as incredibly beast-like. Uh, very formidable force indeed. Huge thank you to Heat Toy for making this review possible. Can't wait to get the rest of these in. I think it's going to be those arms next, and then we're just waiting on those final two. And this is going to be one of the best versions of Devastator to date, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, really looking forward to seeing what Mechanical Alliance do, but they're going to have to go some to beat this. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, uh, goodbye.